and welcome to the Crazy Kids Garden Technology Channel. Today I am going to be doing our second reaction video and this is going to be from Gamers Life Daily. Innovative or insane problematic PC setups that gives that give us anxiety. Yes Professor, I have a laptop. Wow, this guy's got a real snack book. Its keypad must have got true hotkeys for easy access and quick operations when pressed that all the other students are able to focus on their work rather than their clearly confused classmate. Classy case. Say goodbye a clunky plastic monstrosities and hello to this advanced class CPU that doubles as a piece of art. This stunning piece of technology boasts an outer case made of designer glass and wood giving it a chick and sophisticated look. Now my question is, that's not the CPU, that's the case. So yeah. We all know that potatoes, good conductors of electricity, as they are enriched with electrolytes. But this person took this fact too seriously, from a HDMI cable to a RAM and remote access PC card, they packed this potato with everything with every crucial component of a computer setup. Now, that's weird, because if I zoom in on that, zoom in. HMDI? What's HMDI? Rainbow. This keyboard design is an eyesore of its multicolour backlighting. Each one is integrated with a different coloured LED, making it look like a rainbow threw up on it. But that's not what earned it. It a spot on our list. Yeah, A, B, C, D, E, F. It's usually quite your as a e, 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 use. Can only hope that it's just the keys that are rearranged and not the internal components. If it's formal and good luck typing on it, if your style is hunt and peck. Overall, keyword design is not bad, it's just a disaster. Yeah, luckily I'm on uh, QWERTY. Ancient CPU. Case. It should be ancient case. Because the CPU is the actual part that goes in the motherboard, not the part that holds it. The image below features a Russian case mod that truly really defies all standards of good taste. The, ex the entire exterior is coated in garish, glittery golden paint. With a bright red LED inside that could put any neon sign to shame. Yeah, you can see the LED there. Um, pizza box laptop. Creativity knows no bounds, and sometimes the most unexpected materials can spark inspiration. This laptop housed inside a pizza box is a prime example of that. While many buy expensive clamshell laptop cases made of premium materials, this arrangement proves that price products aren't always necessary to protect your device. Yeah, as you can see in the background, they're running Linux. But then why would they just strip a laptop? Why don't they just keep the laptop? And this is bought all them components. Cardboard processing unit. This toy cardboard CPU, me PC, that's what I think. I think they're making mistakes here. I understand that CPU, and um, but then couldn't they just this this CPU is quite a sight to see. Oh well, this toy cardboard CPU is quite a sight to see. Every part is marked with respective names like graphic card, power supply, etc. For easy identification. But let's be real, it's just a plaything for kids. Despite its impressive, cute design, it's just for showing it's a cardboard replica of a CPU. I think there's something wrong with whoever made this. That's a PC. My CPU, I can't see it at the minute, unless it's a proper technical thing. Chocolate PC, yeah, I'll just stop it. This computer is a chocolate lover's dream come true. The keyboard is arranged with chocolate cubes, while the mouse and monitor are designed with old chocolate bars. The design might seem crazy, but the PC clearly explains creators love for chocolates. Now that'll get me annoyed as I'll be holding them while I'm gaming and then all of a sudden they'll go. But I get the joke. Yeah. I 
that was my computer's ah. Uh, when I get angry again, I can just go. Um, 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 um. But anyway, desktop stranding. This PC is perfect set if you're going to play Death Stranding. Users formulated this spooky yet crazy CPU utilizing the concept of a bridge baby from the video game. When lit, the CPU truly resembles the affirm aforementioned infant in its pod. The bit that I'm circling my cursor at the minute. <laughs> Why is there a baby? Are they just going to cook the baby? <gasps> Hot Wheels did this a while ago that you could buy. This old Hot Wheels game PC was one of the most popular computers in the 90s. But in terms of modern setups, it's a prime example of of an awkward design in computer hardware. The worst element of this PC is its large, clunky CPU that takes up most of the desk space. Yeah, why is it that a computer nowadays would probably be like that sort of size? Well, that, I would say. Yeah, I'll say about that. But then there, it was like that. <laughs> it was like flip round sort of looking thing for me. But anyway. Yeah, I'm glad I had one of that computer. Horrifying PC. Some twisted mind decided to show the internet what well, it really looks like when someone gets their cutesy science fiction stuff. It's pure nightmare fuel. The owner of this horrible PC is probably a lonely person who needs someone to look at them. Now let's just scroll back up, because I'm sure that one's already actually been on, which is weird. How's it? Oh! Oh yeah, oh, there it is. I wondered why. Cool CPU. The CPU central process processing unit is a key component of the computer system responsible for executing and processing instructions. So it's essential to keep it cool to maintain your system's performance. So in the early days, a small motor fan was extreme, was externally attached to the back of the CPU to blow off the hot air. Oh yeah, we'll keep the CPU cool, why don't we? By plugging something in the front USB and yeah, easy. Cyborg Leela. Technology is always associated with the future in science fiction. And what better way to represent than Leela from Futurama? Although she's pretty tech savvy, this 31st century gal is probably the worst casing for a CPU and clearly this is a custom build. I'm a bit old because of the HDD in it. Now all of SSDs, but anyway. PUBG TV. Sean Boy seems to be a true PUBG lover. So to maximise his gaming experience, he got a giant touch screen for the best results, but it's clear from the image that even though he's desperately trying to play the game, the big screen is actually problematic. Yeah, I'll call that problematic, because when you're on a keyboard and mouse, all your controls are just there at once. Like, I'll call my keys here. Whereas on there, you'd be like reaching around on your screen. Which I couldn't imagine doing that on my monitor. Desert computer. What do you expect to find when hiking through the woods? Some interesting pants? Maybe some scat? Or perhaps beautiful butterflies? Well, someone stumbled upon a lone work desk that somehow worked despite being in an area so remote they were not out the since I hit. Yeah, how does that actually work? Unless somewhere was like a battery bank. Graphics cap. Looks like we have a. Uh, look like looks like we've got a feline infestation on our hands. Introducing the new custom graphics cap on the market. A real kitty that is taking up residence inside a computer CPU. Instead of a standard graphics card, this PC is equipped with a full-on furball. Mm. I wonder if it's coming in from the other side, but oh, five twenty watts on that. Looks terrible that computer does. Woolen CPU. Where do we even start? His CPU covered in white woolen fabric with its interior illuminated by a colourful contrasting light. However, the, spot, the slots peeping through the cover give the appearance of a creepy face, making the overall design horrifying yet attractive. Yeah, that does look creepy. I'm glad that's not my computer. Oh, 
Not that GB, wow. Piles of flies. The person in this image is overwhelmed with work as evidenced by numerous files cluttering his computer screens. It is a daunting sight with two full size computers and a laptop all filled to their capacities. Although it's unclear what kind of work he does, he does seem to it seems to be a high volume task. Oh, where are we? Computers do grow on trees. This image depicts a seemingly impossible scenario. Laptop stuck in a tree with the trunk piercing directly through the device. Laptop is positioned at an awkward angle and one can only imagine the force to get it stuck in such a manner. Microwave PC. This image is both humorous and tricky to understand. The man sitting in front of a microwave with a wireless keyboard in his hand is apparently using the appliance as his PC. Digital screen of a microwave serves as a monitor to explain all files and folders. Oh, oh, there. It looks like that might be a second monitor. I don't know. Maybe what they've done is they've just stuck a tablet on the inside and just displayed it on the tire CPU. A car tire integrated with computer parts is not only one of the most terrible PC designs, but also unimaginable. We've seen various types of casings for a CPU, but a tire is in a league of its own. The creator of this device must be an environmentalist who prefers upcycling. I wonder what would happen now if they put that on the car and they just like, Yeah, they won't be able to go because of that. You might be fond of mushrooms, but you don't want to see them growing your CPU. This image of mushrooms sprouting out of the computer CPU indicates a lack of proper maintenance. A lot of scenarios where rare characterises the horror that can be from an unmaintenance machine. With three tablets trying to form a complete desktop, this setup is an inadequate solution that fails to meet even the needs of the most basic user. Besides the cramped and cluttered desk making it more difficult to get any work done, any real work done, sorry. And very blurry picture. Just filter. We equip PCs with just filters to prevent dirt buildup in the CPU, but we often forget that these covers accumulate dust. Over time, they must be cleaned regularly for optimal device functioning. This image is such an instance where dust fills of the CPU are badly overflowing with debris. Yep, and that's it. I really enjoyed this reactions and I really enjoyed that the site. So if you would like to visit this site, go gamerslifedaily.com forward slash cursed PC. If you like our content, click the subscribe button. If you like the video, click the like button. Our Facebook can be found here and Twitter can be found here. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.